Good morning, guys and gals who watch me on YouTube. It is Kathleen Jedi. I am back in Florida. We were just doing some reshoots before we um, head off to New York and L.A. for a little bit of R&R, &R, of which I'm not sure what we're doing, but I hope it will be enjoyable. I look very tired because I am very tired. And upon returning home, which I came on this trip without Basti, uh, if you don't know Basti, that is my fiancé, um, I am feeling a lot more emotionally fragile than I anticipated. So, something interesting to think about. I'm sorry if you guys are going to hear the wind. But, um, what I wanted to talk about was, um, I sometimes make a lot of videos where I talk about relationships. And... I try to give very blunt and what I feel are honest response to people who, you know, become very bitter when they lose love. Because I have been on the other side a lot of, you know, when I reject someone, that rejection becomes something very unpleasant, very hurtful, and, and you know, just to the point where you have to, like... You know, change your phone numbers and do all the kinds of crazy shit because you're like, oh, what the fuck is wrong with these people? You know. But, um, I thought I would address something else. Uh, something I, I guess I seldom talk to or admit, and people sometimes get the wrong impression of me completely, which is this idea that um, I never experienced loneliness, I never experienced heartbreak, I never experienced, like, pain in a relationship. I. I'm callous. I don't understand what it's like to to be alone, to be rejected. And that's not true. It's so unbelievably not true. And I guess it's maybe I, I sometimes come off, like I said, harsh. And I'm possibly not not doing it correctly. Um Possibly one of the reasons I do this is because I, I am, you know, everybody's ashamed of weakness. I am very ashamed of weakness uh, in myself, not so much in other people. You could be weak and I, I will sympathize with you because everybody has weakness. But um, I judge myself quite harshly in terms of, you know, my, my attitude, my personality. And it's just something that I... I'm always very self-conscious of the fact that I am very small. So people tell me I always have a Napoleon complex. They're like, you have a Napoleon complex. You're so controlling. I always get the word controlling. You're very controlling. I'm, I'm the boss, essentially, and um, I am always feeling like I'm always fighting to, to keep this image of myself, which I bet doesn't even exist, which is uh, someone who, like, just does, you know, what they think is right. And I think I, I sometimes, um, in the process very much hurt people close to me by by being like, I can't be too friendly. If I'm friendly, then weak. I'm, I'm weak, and then I'm vulnerable, and I don't want to be vulnerable. And this comes a lot with um, people I care about in general. And um, in the process, I feel like I sometimes become quite lonely. I become lonely when um, I don't, you know, have the ability to, to, to just let down the walls. And instead of, like, letting down the walls, I fucking just will insult the ever-loving fuck out of people. And I think in myself, it's just a joke. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking, but I'm always fucking joking. And as kind of like the flip side of that is that because I'm always joking, then people are always doing the same thing to me. Always telling me like, you know, basically as a consequence to, to me always being so bossy is people always trying to be like, well, you suck for X, Y, and Z reason, even if it's joking or partially true. Um, and it's kind of become so hard to distinguish what is a joke, what is a half-truth, what is a full truth, because all I do is this. All I do is give this reaction to people. And I find myself filled with a lot of self-loathing lately. Um, and I don't know why, because I would always say, like, my life is so nice. Why 
you know, but I, I am self-loathing of my weaknesses. I'm self-loathing of being emotional. And I hate myself for it. I hate myself when I feel like my heart is torn, when I am upset because I don't have the friendship I want, or the friendships I have are not where I want them to be. Um, and I become overly emotional, and I become snappy and bitchy and mean and rude, and I yell at people, and I scream, and I cry. And part of that is, you know, I think in my own heritage as a Latin person, I don't know, I know it's time to stereotype, but um, coming back home, I've, I've noticed this, is that, like, um, we express ourselves very kind of bluntly and harshly, and I certainly feel like, like, when... You know, and and everybody knows that. Like that's kind of like the acceptable thing, but I sometimes think like if I am blunt or harsh with someone, then they think, well, she's just being a bitch. Someone who isn't Latin, she's just being a bitch, and so thus I will be mean and upset back, and that's that's fine. That's okay, but it just becomes hard. It just becomes hard because now it's. I think this is another piece of culture so shock that I never talk about is the fact that like everybody's ability to express themselves sometimes can be so different. And I am also a talker, and I love to talk, and other people are, like, very silent. And especially with, like, English people, they're not as expressive. And not to the same degree as Japanese people. No offense to Japanese people, but, you know, it, it's hard to express yourself. Whereas I, like, maybe overly express myself. Maybe express myself, or, or I overcompensate my expressions. People think I'm mad when I'm not that mad. People think, you know, why is she so stubborn when I'm like, ah, oh, you know, if you just... I'm not really upset. I'm just making it like I'm really upset. Um, which I think maybe even is a worse thing. So, um, I just, I guess the point of this stupid little video is to say that it's not that I don't understand people's emotions. I just really would love, I would love to turn off my emotions. But I don't know how right or wrong that would be. I feel like I have to because I'm sometimes filled with anger. And it sucks. It sucks to be so angry at everything, especially yourself. And you're angry, or I'm angry, at the emotions I feel. And you, then you become defensive when people like say anything to you. So I can understand those people who are like heartbroken, and then people are like, "Well, you can't just feel like that with, you know, oh, you're such an idiot, you know." And it's like, how's that going to help you, really? But sometimes it's good to have just like a harsh truth. So it's a matter of finding balance in the world. Which is hard. Because balance is difficult. Okay, I think I've read that off enough for now. I'm sorry that this is kind of like a weird little emo video, but I will be in New York and I will be in LA in the next few days. So see you guys.